What's up guys, it's me Grey Wolf, uh, back to do another video, and this video is on three different products, uh, basically two of which are called Plasti Dip, one of them is called Liquid Tape, essentially all three of them are the same basic thing, it's basically all liquid rubber that once, once applied to something solidifies into a a, you know a, a good solid rubber coating um, you know it's a soft pliable rubber coating uh, this is basically the three things that you'll see in most waterproofing videos out there on YouTube um, I basically just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of all three of them because nobody's I don't think anybody out there at least not that I've seen has ever really taken the time to explain you know some of the pros and cons between the various types so basically here on the right we have what is essentially an aerosol spray can it's basically like a can of spray paint um, that applies the the rubber coating uh, the one here in the middle is actually a dip um, where you basically open up the top of the can and you can just dunk stuff into it and pull it back out. Uh, the excess rubber will drip off of it and then it'll solidify. The last one here, this little small container here, is called liquid tape. Liquid tape is essentially the same exact thing as the Plasti Dips, only this is more the um, the bottle is more like a bottle of <clears throat> rubber cement, where there's actually a brush applicator attached to the inside of the cap so you can use this liquid tape uh, to actually brush on your your rubber coatings onto things uh, sometimes this is really handy because sometimes you you know you gotta you want it just in a certain area um, you know you don't want to dunk it uh, you don't want to submerge the whole thing and you know spraying it um, you know obviously it's hard to keep it confined to a smaller area that's where your liquid tape comes in um, so that's the advantage that's one advantage of using liquid tape um, the drawback is really two minor there's two minor drawbacks to it it's got a big advantage. The, the brush applicator to me is a big advantage in, in certain cases, but it's got two minor drawbacks. The first minor drawback is once you've opened this, it will start to harden inside the, uh, the bottle, but it doesn't harden real fast. It t it, it'll stay good for quite a while. Uh, the last bottle I had of this, and I don't use it a whole lot, but the last bottle I had of this, um, you know, I probably got two thirds of the bottle uh, out of it before it got to the point where it wasn't really pliable anymore. It was, it wasn't completely hard, but it wasn't liquid enough anymore to really brush onto anything. So. Um, that's one small con to this. The other small con is the fact that when you apply liquid tape, it's not it, it's not very beautiful, <laughs> for a better lack of of a term. It um, you know it, it doesn't apply it real evenly. Um, now it looks worse when it's wet than when it's dry when it's dry it does actually even out a little bit more but not as much as either one of these other two will so that's that's one uh, that's one of the that's the second small drawback to the liquid tape now the plastic dip is basically got one big con and one big pro. 
The big pro is obviously uh, certain applications are perfect for just dunking the whole thing right in. You dunk it in, it's nice and thick like the, the liquid tape is. So you dunk it in, it only takes one dunk and you, you pull it back out and it's got a nice thick coating of the plastic dip. The bad thing about the plastic dip is once you open this can, it will it will solidify and go bad within weeks. I've only owned this can. I've owned this can for maybe maybe two months, and I've only used it once. I used it the very first time I opened it, and I was going to actually use it again tonight. But when I opened it, I noticed. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this can was actually virtually full at one point. At this point, it's about half empty. And the reason it's half empty is because it hasn't completely hardened, but it's it's thick enough now to where you can't dunk anything into it. So basically, the big con to the actual dip is once you open the can, it goes bad very quickly. Um, it does, you know, it, it has a, a sealed plastic lid on it, which you would think would keep it, you know, fresh. Uh, like, you know, liquid tape, you know, does a pretty good job of staying fresh. Even though, you know, I've opened this canister multiple times, it has not even begun to get hard like this stuff did. So that's the big drawback to the dip. And the spray can basically has one big pro and one big con also. The spray uh, plastic dip, the pro to the spray plastic dip is you get nice even coatings uh, of the plastic dip. And looks very, it looks very good because it's you know it's nice even coatings. The drawback is the coatings are very thin compared to the other two, so in most cases you end up having to do um, a couple of real good thick coats, or at least as thick as you can. I ended up the um, the servo that I'm working on now, which I will be putting up a video for waterproofing servos. Um, the servo that I'm working on now, I just applied a second very heavy coat to it, and I think I think it'll have enough on it when it's done uh, to to call it done. But I'm not entirely sure yet. I'm gonna wait till it completely dries and look at it again. I might decide to put a third coat on. So. Uh, you know, again, the big pro is nice, even, thin, you know, layers stacked up on top of each other. Looks looks very good. The pro, since it does require multiple layers, uh, you know, it's going to take longer to get the job done. Um, and that that's basically the pros and cons between the various forms of plastic dip. And uh, I hope that helps you decide which type you need to buy because this stuff is not exactly cheap. And uh, when I went out to buy it initially, I didn't want to buy all three cans or you know, all three types, but I really had no idea at the time what the differences between them were, which one I'd like better, which one you know is more practical to use, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. In terms of in terms of practical use, I think I use liquid tape more than anything, um, just simply because there's so many instances where it's like I only want I only want the rubber on a, you know a specific location. Um, good example is this ESC um, this ESC's battery terminal, and pretty much all my battery terminals I coat with either plastic dip or or liquid tape to help make them waterproof. I don't know if you can see that there, but the whole end of this thing is coated in rubber to help make it more a little more waterproof. And I do the same thing on my batteries. Let me see. Here's a three cell Gen battery. 
I have, and as you can tell, I rubber coated the entire end of this thing as well, um, just to keep water from getting down inside in between the wires and uh, and causing a short down toward the connector. So that is uh, that's essentially that's essentially the basic information on these three and uh, hopefully that will help you pick the right one for the job so you don't have to spend the money to buy all three to find out. Um, you can kind of pick and choose your battles at this point hopefully. So with that, uh, I'm out. Peace.